All right, so we're gonna start by looking at complementary and supplementary angles. And these are your notes for both component one and component two. So complementary angles are angles that add up to 90 degrees, meaning that they create a right angle. And supplementary angles are angles that add up to 180 degrees, meaning that they form a straight line. All right, so we're gonna look at the table and we're going to fill it in based on the angles and then we're gonna classify the angle, find its complement and find the supplement. So if I look at that first angle, it says the angle measures 32 degrees and I'm gonna classify that as acute, obtuse or right. And this would be an acute angle because it's smaller than 90 degrees. It's complement, so we know that complementary angles are 90 degrees. So if one is 32, I would say 90 minus 32, and that would give us the other measurement, which would be 58. And it's supplement, so we know that supplementary angles are 180. So I'm gonna say 180 minus 32. That's gonna give us 148 for the supplement. All right, on this next one, I have the supplement, which means I need to find the original angle measure. So if we say 180 minus 75, that would tell us that the original angle measure is 105 degrees. Now we're gonna classify that angle, and we're only classifying the original measure, and 105 degrees would be an obtuse angle because it's bigger than 90. The complement, since the angle is 105, we would not have a complement here because it's already bigger than 90, so none. All right, the next one says the angle measure is 90 degrees, so the classification would be a right angle. We would not have a complement because it's already 90 degrees but we would have a supplement. So we would say 180 minus 90, which would give us 90. Right, and in the last one, we have the complement, which is 68 degrees. We need to find the original angle measure. So since that's the complement, we're gonna say 90 minus 68, which would tell us that the original measure was 22 degrees. This would be an acute angle, because it's smaller than 90. And its supplement, we're going to say 180 minus 22, which would give us 158 degrees. All right, for question number one, it says one of two supplementary angles is 74 degrees. Write an equation to represent the measurement of the other angle. So if I draw a picture here, we have a supplementary angle, which means we have a straight line and one of the angles measures 74, and we're trying to figure out what this other angle is. So if I were to write an equation here, I would add these two angles up. So I would say 74 plus x equals 180, and then I would just simply do 180 minus 74 to get my angle measurement, which would give us 106 degrees. All right, number two says we have an angle that's 32 and we're looking for the measure of angle K and N. So there's a couple different ways that I can do this. So if I look at angle N here, it has the box in the corner, which means that it measures 90 degrees. That would mean that the other side of this would also need to measure 90 degrees because I have a straight line here and we know that that's supplementary. So if the other side needs to measure 90, I could say 90 minus 32, and that would tell us that angle K is 58 degrees. I could also look at this whole thing as a supplementary angle, and I could say 180 minus 90 minus 32, which would also give us 58 degrees. So angle K measures 58, 
And then it says, what is the sum of the angle K and N? So if I do 58 plus 90, that's going to give us 148. All right, and this last one's a little bit different because I don't have any angle measurements here. I just have equations in each side of the angle. So first it says, what is the measure of X? And then it wants us to find the measure of each angle. So I know that this is a supplementary angle because it forms a straight line at the bottom. And I know that supplementary angles are going to add up to 180 degrees. So if I take these two angles and I add them together, I'm going to set it equal to 180. So I'm going to say 2x plus 6 plus 3x plus 14. And I'm going to set that equal to 180. Now I need to combine like terms. So I'm going to say 2x plus 3x, which is going to give me 5x. I have plus 6 and plus 14, which is going to give me plus 20. And I'm going to set that equal to 180. And now I need to solve this two-step equation. So I'm going to subtract 20 on both sides. That's going to give me 5x equals 160. And then I'm going to divide by 5. And that's going to tell us that x is equal to 32. All right, so the measure of x would be 32. And now it wants us to find the measure of each angle. So now I need to plug the x in and find the value of each one of these angles. So for this first one, it says 2x plus 6. So I'm going to replace the x with the 32. So I'm going to say 2 times 32 plus 6. So 2 times 32 would give us 64. And 64 plus 6 would give us 70. So the first angle measures 70. And for the second one, I'm going to say... 3 times 32 plus 14. So 3 times 32 is going to give us 96. And 96 plus 14 is going to give us 110. So our measurements are 70 degrees and 110 degrees. And again, that would add up to 180 because they are supplementary angles. So by writing and solving equations, we can determine the missing angle measure of a complementary or supplementary angle. So here we're just going to practice writing the equations. So I'm going to look at this first one, and I have x in 136 degrees. So again, I know that you can probably just say 180 minus 136 and get your answer, but I want you to practice setting up the equations because you, know, you are going to get to more complex equations down the road. So I'm adding these two angles up, and I'm setting it equal to 180 because it's a supplementary angle. So I'm going to say x plus 136 equals 180. And then I would subtract 136 from both sides. And 180, take away 136, is going to leave us with 44 degrees. So the missing angle is 44. All right, I want you to pause the video. I want you to fill in these three problems and then press play to see if you did it correctly. The answer for the first one should have been 16, the second one 32, and the last one 128. Make sure that you have the equations set up as well. So for these ones, we're going to draw a picture and then we're going to solve it. So the first one says two angles are complementary. One of the angle measures 15. What is the measure of the second angle? So a complementary angle is a right angle. So I'm going to draw a right angle. It says one of the angles measures 15. So I'm going to fill in 15 degrees and we want to know what the second angle is. So I'm going to say x plus 15. equals 90. All right. If I subtract 15 from both sides, 
It's going to give me that x is equal to 75. So the missing angle is 75 degrees. All right, the next one says angle ABE and DBE are supplementary. If ABE is 61 degrees, what is the measure of DBE? All right, so I'm going to draw supplementary angle. It says one of them measures 61 degrees, and we want to know the measurement of the second angle. So I'm going to say 61 plus x equals 180. I'm going to subtract 61, and that would give us that x is equal to 119 degrees. Try these two on your own. Set up the equation, solve it, and then press play to see if you get the correct answer. If you are struggling with these, go ahead and press play, and then see if you can figure it out from the work that I've shown. Did you get the correct answers? If not, look at my work and see what I did and see if you can figure out what you did wrong.